On just one station, a high price heist in a South Florida jewelry store cleaned out. Thieves taking everything from watches to diamonds. As Seven's Brennan Byer reports, the owner says they knew exactly what they were doing. We usually had about 45 to 50 Rolexes in this showcase. Juan Castillo's jewelry store in Pembroke Pines has been cleaned out. Diamond rings, engagement rings, uh, wedding trios in this showcase here. There is literally nothing left, not a single item to sell. They did not leave one item in the store. They took their time and went through every drawer, every safe, everything. They, they took everything. This is what the store used to look like, display cases filled with jewels. But now case after case sits empty. They came in through the roof. This was their entry point here. Police say the crooks came in through here. The back of the jewelry store actually cut their way in from the ceiling, one of the crooks, and then went to this door to let the rest of the crooks in. This is a long, narrow hallway. Police say this is how the crooks came in and then left after ransacking the jewelry store. And this is no smash and grab. It likely took hours to cut through this concrete and steel safe. And there are cameras everywhere, but the bandits left no evidence behind, taking the hard drive with them. Police tell Castillo these were no amateurs. They said they're professionals. Professional thieves in through the ceiling, cutting through a safe, and leaving without a trace, setting this business owner back years. We're going to go through a rough time now. Hopefully we'll get through it, but it's 14 years down the drain. In Pembroke Pines, Brandon Byer, today in Florida.